What's up guys? Uh, this week we're gonna just kind of get this thing washed up and get ready for paint. Uh, I'm gonna try and paint it today but we'll see how time goes on everything so what I've done here already is kind of for the last couple days just been coming out here and spraying this with the de degreaser just to let all that grime kind of uh, sit in it and kind of hopefully loosen up so when I power wash it all comes off then you can see I plugged all the uh, exhaust ports here. Now what I do is I took rubber gloves, stuffed the paper towel in there and just jammed it in there. Um, I'm not gonna be spraying water directly in there so that's just to kind of keep any like splash or overspray from getting into the engine. Uh, everything else is still sealed. Left the spark plugs in so those are sealed. Valve covers on sealed. Um, back here for the intakes I did the same thing, just plugged them. Again, just not gonna spray directly in there. I cleaned around the edges to get those paper gaskets off and yeah, uh, just been, like I said, springs with decreaser. Oh, I took all the, any electrical connections that were coming off and kind of balled them up into one section here so I could just avoid spraying that with water. And then, uh, yeah, just again, degreaser, degreaser, spray, 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 let it sit. So hopefully when I hit this with my uh, power washer over here, it should just knock all that grime off and give me a nice clean engine. So let's hop into it. Alright, so it's been washed off with the power washer. Looking a lot cleaner already. There's still some spots that the power washer's gonna get. That's fine though. We'll go through those and sand them out or brush them out and then uh, be ready to paint this thing. But uh, real quick, I'm just gonna get all the water off with the old handy dandy leaf blower. All right, so that was about 15 minutes of washing and drying this engine. And um, I mean, I should have gotten more video of how it looked before, but it's still got some dirt. It still looks old, but you know, it's clean now. I can touch it and my hands will come up with grease every time. Um, so now, I mean, over here, this was all like black and just caked with dust and dirt and debris. So, I mean, it's looking really good now. Uh, nothing got in the ports. My plugs worked pretty well. I mean, you know, I'm gonna tell you right now, some people don't like this because they're like, oh, you're spraying water on the engine, you might, you know, damage it or get water in there and ruin it. It's a possibility. Anything's a possibility. But honestly, to sit here and do that by hand would have taken like hours and hours. So worth the risk for me, and I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. Um, yeah, so now I just need to go through by hand with like wire brushes and just scuff it, scrape it, give it a real good clean up, get the surface knocked loose, or um, get the surface kind of scratched up so the paint will adhere to it. 
and then go buy the engine paint down here I still got to clean a little bit the power washer can only do so much um, when it's 40 years of dirt but she's clean you know I can, I can spin her and touch her and not get dirty so I'm really happy how everything turned out and worked out uh, I use my leaf blower to dry it off real quick um, these case bolts are really rusted but it's just how it's going to be what I'm thinking I might do is I'm just going to paint it while it's all together then I will get a engine dress kit which is all new you know stainless bolts and uh, redo all the bolts one by one so we have a nice engine with clean bolts and everything looking good but uh, yeah this will be the last video for about a month I'm going to Europe so I will not be back for a month but uh, when I get back I'll resume work on this and we'll keep going my goal my goal was to have this thing done for this summer but it's looking less and less likely like that's gonna happen so um, probably by next summer I'll have it all done I just you know can only work on it so fast when I'm working a full-time job and doing other things uh, with my life but yeah thanks for watching and subscribing um, I mean if you have any questions or comments down below do this at your own risk if you're gonna follow this for instructions you know just to use logic, common sense when you're power washing something. You don't want water going in the engine, don't want it in the ports, don't want it on your connections, uh, electrical connections that is. And just, you know, avoid crucial areas and just really pay attention to what you're shooting and spraying with water. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. All right, so here's the engine, how it stands right now. Obviously you just saw me power washing it, that was the day before. But I came in here and I just started kind of scuffing this thing up on off camera. I didn't set up the camera, I just kind of started working on it. But um, yeah, I hit it with the wire wheel and then hit it with sandpaper. Went through the whole thing as best I can. Taped off the things I don't want paint on. Ideally, yeah, you want to, like, the best scenario, I would tear this whole engine apart and then get everything prepped properly, paint it individually, put it back together. This is a quick engine paint. Make it look good from uh, far, but far from good. But it's still gonna look great. And this is how I'm doing it. So I'm taping off everything I don't wanna paint. Obviously I don't wanna get paint on my wires and stuff. Not that it's that big of a deal, but try to avoid that. So we're taping off all vacuum hoses, wires, stuff, more wires over here. Um, rear drive connection, drive shaft connection is taped off. This is where the starter goes. It sits in here with a cover, tape that off. Uh, screw holes, plug those. You don't want, you don't want to get paint on your threads. Makes it hard to, you know, put your screws back in. Vacuum breathers taped off. Oil pressure sender sensor rather taped off. Intake taped off. Uh, up there is very difficult to clean. So whatever. I can really see that anyway. Uh, exhaust is taped off. Exhaust bolts are taped off. That bolt is on the bench because it came out. Uh, so I plug that hole. Plug these two. Oil cooler holes and yeah um, so now I'm just gonna quickly take a rag wipe it down with mineral spirits to remove any grease or anything else that's still on there hopefully as best as I can oh, I gotta tape this off too um, plug that hole there but yeah um, so now I'm just gonna time-lapse spray painting it and then uh, show you the finished product All right, so here we go, finished product. It's actually the next day since I painted it, I let it cure overnight and you kind of see how everything turned out. It came out really nice. I'm really happy with how uh, all this paint came out. So I did uh, one can of VHT Engine Enamel Primer, followed by two cans of VHT Engine Enamel Flat, bat, flat Black, rather. Uh, weird thing is on this side, and I don't know if this was a problem with the primer or something, but came out kind of uh, more textured. Like you can see, let me see if I can zoom in. 
It's got a very like textured look to it. It seems fine, but I just noticed it's on this side, it's very textured. And I noticed when I put the primer on it, get, got that textured look. But then on the other side, it kind of transitioned to a more smooth look. And I don't know if that's because I put more paint on this side. Um, but it's a little smoother, it doesn't have as much of that texture to it. Overall, there's like a little bit of that texture throughout, but you know, um, this side's definitely, or the other side's definitely got a lot more, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Everything looks good, the coverage looks good, it seems to be bonded very well, looks like all my prep work paid off. Um, so yeah, I mean, until it gets on the bike and then uh, the engine temperature comes up to temp, it won't really bake on and cure, but uh, it's going to sit like this for a couple weeks. Um, I don't know if I said it earlier, but I'll be traveling to Europe for the next two weeks or three weeks, so I probably won't do a video for another month or so. So this is going to sit in this garage and let the paint really just gas out and cure on. And then uh, it'll be a while before it runs anyway until I get everything reinstalled on the bike. But yeah, this is uh, how VHT engine enamel turns out on a bike when you finish painting it. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. And, uh, Excited to move on with the project and put it back in the bike. So, thanks for watching this episode. Like, remember to like and subscribe, and see you on the next one. Peace.